In that first place slot is actually down to just one game to elimination. Of course, they're facing up against Virtus Pro, a team that has the whole entire CAIS region pride behind them. I mean, VP aren't slushes. They've consistently been able to play with. Like, Storm is really hard. Uh, it's really easy to kill, but at the same time, it's incredibly hard for a Storm FNG. to kill. FNG, he's actually kind of caught here. Zai's going to try and run him oh, down with a go surge. Down. He's going to pick up the first blood here. Yep, there goes the right click. Now he will be a bit far forward. Virtus Pro may be able to turn around on him. They need the slows. And they're not going to have enough. The Darkseer taking enough to survive through that one. FNG, rather uncharacteristic mistake in the laning phase by him, just being too far forward against the Darkseer. And that's really significant because Adro isn't farming at all and she expected to have free farm here and the Darkseer getting that first kill by himself at the same time is really going to help his progression. Like he already has the soul ring and this means that he can get aggressive on this bottom lane and they can pretty much push both supports out of it relatively easily and Illidan has to keep up and farm with Arteezy because Arteezy getting a lot of farm here means so much more. Puppy. It's going to be slowed down. Light Strike Array does land. He's got the Shell Grave and will get it off in time. Virtus Pro are just going to slowly run him down, though. He gets the last little heal, but it's not enough. So despite Secret picking up the first blood, they do already give a kill to Illidan. And this mid lane, S4, now that he has the high ground advantage, he's really starting to win the lane. And this is going to prompt G to just back. And Illidan hasn't, doesn't have the regen to deal with this. Uh, they got the silence on Zai. It will run out eventually, though. He'll get the Surge, FNG. He's hoping to be able to get close enough for the Light Strike Raid. They're actually still close enough for a Cold Arrows. Maybe FNG can land this one. He's going to turn around with the double Ion Shell. Go straight for Lil. He's going to be able to pick up the kill. Unbelievable oh, play no by Zai. Way. And he's getting get out. out. He health potions up, trying to dodge. Turns oh, around and goes again. The FNG almost there gets the kill. Two for one by Zai. What kind of monster are you, Zai? Straight Savage goes for the double kill on both supports. I mean, you just asked if it was worth it for the supports to stay down there. No, it's not. Certainly not anymore. And look at this, S4. G is not level 6. S4 has the invis rune. He's going to start if they want to, but they'll probably move in for this bottom lane and then take the They're going to try and chain stun S4. They get the Fissure. No, they couldn't get it up. S4 is actually going to get away. No, the right click is there. And God actually gets the kill. He's run out of mana, though. A little bit of a jump. Can he stay ahead of Arteezy? Another right click is going to bring him low, but they can't quite get it. So critical that VP actually got that kill on S4 and did not lose G in the process. Is there to confront the fact that G's going to get a uh -oh. bloodstone in? S4, S4 blinked. He just blinked right into DK Phobos. They had the uh, oh, Echo no. Slam if necessary, but it's not. With familiars there, they easily chain stun it down, and G is now in a killing spree, bringing you that much closer to the critical bloodstone that you were talking about. Oh, Kuro, he's going to be blown up by FNG as well. It's the Light Strike Array to lead things off and had the Laguna Blade ready to go. And everything right now just falling apart for Secret is that was just such an unlucky blink. He had vision up here, get aggressive, and Arteezy's a really good target here. Absolutely, DK Fobo starting things off with an extra slam. They will be able to chain stun and instantly pop Arteezy. The use of the Laguna Blade has got to be all about that shallow grave from Puppy. They did not want to give that support the opportunity to be able to save SF for five seconds and let there be a turnaround oh, from Secret. Did. From yeah. behind, he jumps in. He's going to be able to get the Thailand on the Puppy, and they do easily get the kill, thanks to the Fisher. And it looks like with those two pickoffs, they should be able to get this tier to tower. Team Secret actually going to go for it, vacuum up. Sonic Wave instantly taking out one, and a second as Zai runs him down. God turns around on the S4. They will be able to pick up that counter kill. Kuro's up next. God, oh, what a ball lightning steal from Kuro. Actually gets away from the Fisher. And now, they're actually going to push VP away from this tier 2 tower because of that. Well worth the trade of S4's life. I think Kuro was fine there. To click on the tower there. They stun up Artur and trying to catch up. FNG's going to lead with perhaps a blind light shark. Yeah, the Fisher chain stunning RTZ down with Laguna Blade on top. Shell Grave does go off, and RTZ will have the opportunity to pop his ultimate. They just need a couple of right clicks to kill him. The Drone Ranger, no, it's not enough. God is actually going to jump forward. He gets that one as the explosion from the SF actually slays God. But VP and the rest of DK Phobos are maybe in a position to be able to get more. S4 jumps forward, actually kills the Vistage. Now DK Phobos and Illidan are going to try and turn this one around still. The Blink's up in two seconds but he actually has his Blink Dagger canceled by the Illusion. S4 is spotted out by the Familiars, but they won't be able to get there in time, it looks like. DK Phobos tries to go for the Fisher, but for taking Roshan,
Team Secret actually went for a four-man smoke. Arteezy is going to join the rest of the team, but it seems to be a bit too late. Kerr actually makes the jump in, but it's too late. God has already grabbed the Aegis, and now with a two-man, DK Fomo has actually hit a beautiful finisher. They've already eliminated one. Arteezy managed to get off the BKB. Pops that ultimate. They're trying to go for Lil. We'll take him out. DK Fomo's four staff away is trying to get ahead of these heroes. And meanwhile, Illidan will just clean up Puppy nice and quick. DK Fomo stalling up these heroes, managed to get the blink away to the side, and maybe he can turn this one around with Fisher ready to go. Kuro actually steals Light Strike Array, going for the stun here, but he just gets cleaned up so quickly by those familiars. With the increased damage of the Drill Ranger Aura, once again, VP, they win another fight and are well set to take an objective. Team Secret is not going to challenge them, but they may be wrong. Team Secret actually go for the five-man smoke here. Oh, he they see two. He's going to be able to vacuum, jump forward. S4, he's going to actually turn around on Light Strike Array. God's going to jump in. They've already taken out S4, pops a BKB, and will let her lip that ultimate, but God, he's now controlled by the Telkinesis, have to make a jump away, staying away from Arteezy, finally goes down, but that's just the ages. Arteezy pushed back by the silence, they're gonna go for the support spoon first. Puppy goes down, GE Fobos gets off the Echo Slam, he even survives! Just barely as the tower shots are not enough to finish him off. Four down from Team Secret, and VP will have that tier two. And G's got a DD rune, the Silver Edge. Moving forward, they do have the kind of wards to see him though. God sitting on the side, actually gonna jump him, they're gonna try and pop Illidan right away, the Fisher is out, but it doesn't hit anything, meanwhile God goes for Puppy in the background, instantly eliminating, Arteezy gets hit by the Laguna Blade, but it's still up and fighting, there goes the three man with the vacuum wall on top of everything else, AP will lose the fight, and they're gonna lose just three, God has a significant amount of it he left, he's gotta get over here. the cliff, he has to suicide, so if he wants to be able to avoid it, there it is, the suicide, four down for VP. Team Secret holds in game three. I mean, Zai, killer instincts there. Arteezy managing to survive through all odds. And even with the Dazzle dying immediately and S4 being isolated out, those three were enough to hold the base. And Relatively grouped up. They should have seen FNG here. They do have some vision, yep. Right down there by the river. They're going to run into Puppy first. He's already gone. Down and out. The vacuum manager to catch out too with a wall on top. Lil, though, into the response. Great familiar. How many echo slam on top? DK Fomos takes out one already. Now Zai and Arteezy. They have a response, but Zai goes down as well. Laguna Blade finishes Joe Gartizzi against the wild here for Team Secret. He's got to pull this out, but DK Fomos, he survives. Guy gets the kill, and VP win it. They keep two alive and wipe Secret. And that was just all G. He clears up that back line completely by himself, instantly killing the Dazzle, killing the Rubik by himself. Arteezy has no support there. And Arteezy needs to survive, but he also needs the disables of his team. Like, if that Rubik dies, no way to win that for a secret. There is just prod and poke. So much money, so much pride on the line here for VB. They cannot afford any mistakes. Oh, here we go. Start beating the Arteezy. Jump in. Oh my god. Illidan is already losing his ages, but S4, he's in some serious trouble. Looks like the Shaw Grape keeps him alive on the side. We have a two man vacuum. DK Fobos pops his BKB and gets away. Arteezy now pops, pops his own satanic. satanic. And he's actually fighting up against Illidan, but he's now being chased away with God. Taking away the Dazzle in the background. There's going to be no more Shaw Grape anymore. S4 gets some damage out. They manage to scythe the up the Draw Ranger, who's down to only 600 HP. They're trying to jump in. Ilden, he's actually going all in. He has to fight up against Sai, who's doing it for these kills. Will be able to pick it up. Echo Slam misses out. Let's go to play. Turn around by Kuro. There goes DK Fomos, but no, so too does S4 fall. Now they're turning around. On the RTZ. He can't afford to die here. This life seal's not going to be enough. He goes down. He does not have a buyback, but the group off with the vacuum. It's actually controlling him. He's got to get Ilden. He managed to get the wall. Hit God. Makes a jump away, but he will fall as well. Sai keeps Team Secret in this for a little bit longer. FNG. He keeps on going, managed to pick up the kill on Kuro. I mean, Zai this entire game, 10, 5, and 11, doing his best as a Darkseer, but it's still only a Darkseer. G's going to respawn in short time. They've gotten the range racks and the melee racks to top. The mid one might fall soon after. They've got a Dazzle up, but that's about it. No buyback on the Shadow Fiend. The Queen of Pain is in a similar situation. Still hasn't picked up an item since that Scythe device. The Rubik has a buyback, but how much does that even matter for you as F and G with the help of the birds? G's right behind him. I don't know if Secret can defend this, as they're going to lose two racks almost certainly. Yeah, God actually jumping forward now to go for that tier three tower, which has no HP whatsoever. Glyph is pop, but God's still going to pick it up. Curl is forced to expend his buyback here to defend against this scary core. Storm Spirit's working on the range track. The familiar's on top. They're left with just one building at this point. 
Team Secret. Got a Scythe of Ice coming in. The smoke Secret from the road shot. Coming. It's going to have the initiation. Artizzi's our first target. Target number one. Echo Slam being placed on him. He pops in Satanic and now turns the fight. Let's lose that ultimate. Secret are actually going to lose. S4 here. This is good save. Goes with Kerr. Good child. Great save. S4. Oh, what vacuum out. Scythe lets that up beautifully. He managed to get the wall on top. And EP are actually losing some of the heroes. Aegis being popped. G, he's actually going to go down here. Trying to control Artizzi. They're going for the kill. Elton, he needs to death. Oh, but he's taking control. Artizzi got the line. The shallow grave goes. He stays alive. God comes back. He needs Artizzi. He gets the kill. FNG hold up against the side, but they managed to pick up Ty instead. Oh, the Secret of Fortune to the buyback. That's going to go in. He's trying to get Puppy as well next. Will easily be able to get this kill. No shallow grave. This Everybody. means Artizzi. There's a buyback from Puppy, actually. It's two versus three. Artizzi, he doesn't even have the souls necessary. Luckily for them, though, there's not a whole lot of mana on G, and that was a miracle hold for them as the Storm Spirit is forced to buy back just to end Artizzi's life. Artizzi caught to buy back out. At the He's being chased. Done here. He cannot go down. Bob's a BKB. Satanic healing back up. God's actually used most oh, of his mana. Of mana He's in some serious trouble with the mighty Storm. He goes down. He actually suicides there. He's dead for a full minute. DK Fobos turning things around. They actually managed to get Puppy and FNG. Oh, he scores great for the melee racks. They're going for it. Meanwhile, the tier fours are being threatened. S4 is trying to clean that one up. But if the melee racks go down, Steam Secret chances are over. And that's why they immediately jump on FNG. Control from the familiars is there. S4 is actually dropped very low. Melee racks will be kept alive. FNG is trying to dig every last bit of damage there. S4, oh, that Fisher almost landing on him. Would have actually killed him. Kuro comes in to be able to defend. Tier four and melee racks are both going to stay alive here. Here for Team Secret. And they're about to get their glyph back up and successful defense. Secret playing this game on oh, the Illidan edge of a knife right, right now. now. They have no board vision for him. He's just going to blink down on this tower. They don't oh, have he's going for anymore. Melee Rex is actually going to fall. The last right click is there. Illidan gives up his life, it seems, to be able to get the mana creeps. Now they're actually jumping forward. Puppy's going to go down to God at the same time. Illidan will be right clicked down by S4 and RTZ. The Rex, though, is all gone. The tier oh, the four is two. gone as well. The throne is exposed. VP, they can feel it. They can feel this wound underneath their fingertips. They actually back themselves away. Look Looking at the throne, thinking we don't need to go for it just yet. We wait out the draw ranger. She still has buyback. Lit secret have to fight against Megas. All they have to do at this point is be patient. This is their TI hopes on the line. They're about to knock out the favorite of the tournament right now. And secure themselves even more money. All they have to do is wait it out. Don't overextend and wait. Artizi oh, actually in this mid lane. It's too far forward. Once again, Shane Stun S4 comes in to try and slow my heart. Tour can't go down. BKB. Satanic popped, he starts healing himself up. VP, quick on the retreat. RTT actually waiting. getting stunned up. God, he's going to be able to jump back in. There's no BKB, no Satanic. This life is final. RTZ, he's going to be dropping here to God as he just fully commits for this kill. Gets it in the end. Artur down for two minutes. VP, they're moving forward. GP, well played. Secret call it. VP have eliminated the fan favorites of this tournament. And they will move on and face up against LGD in the losers bracket. And they just look so ecstatic right now, and they should. They just played such a great game. They risked it all multiple times at that Roshan fight. Great calls by FNG, their captain. Virtus Pro move on. Such a well-played game, and you can just see how happy they are. And here come the handshake.